to it of my gigantic eBay haul. So let's just jump right in. So, oh, something fell out. Oh my goodness, I really have so much stuff. So in part one, I was telling you, I got I got myself a furry jumper and I bought my son one the same, but I didn't show you my furry jumper. This is my furry one. It's literally like teddy, you know the teddy bear blankets you get? It's like that all over it. I'll get Mark to put the price here. It's just, I'm sure this is from China. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's got a Chinese label on it. I got this in a size medium. I think when I know that stuff is, this didn't come from China, it came, but came like from, via the UK, so it came really quickly, so I know it wasn't like coming straight from China, but it's definitely like made in China. But when it's that, I usually I either, I usually go for large. I think a lot of the things that I bought that were like from China, I got in the large. I could have probably got away with the large in this, but the medium definitely does fit, but I could have got away with the large if I wanted it really oversized. It's just, his one's got little ears on the top. Mine doesn't have ears. It's just this furry, you know, not even furry, can you see that? Like, teddy bear material it is the softest material everywhere. Everywhere? Softest material ever. I also got this, I bought this one, tried it on and I was like, oh my goodness, I think I'm going to just live in this. And because it's black, you could, I think I can wear it out. But they had another one on sale and it was, uh, they had a, I think they had a few different colours. But one of the colours was lilac and it was just such a lovely colour of lilac. And so hard with the lilac one. It's actually in my laundry basket because I've pretty much had it on the entire time. The lilac one gives it more of like a jammy feel. You know like that material you can get for like jammy tops, dressing gowns kind of thing. The lilac one, I must say, looks a little bit more nighty. Do you know what I mean? Like a little bit more sort of bedtimey, like nightwear type thing. But I've been wearing it, like literally I've flung it on over this. I've just been wearing it in the house all the time. It's just so cosy, you know, in the mornings where you're like, I don't want to get up out of bed, it's too cold. Then just oh it's so lovely it's snuggly i would definitely recommend this highly recommend it and it's not a lot like comes up high it's not choky like it comes down on a slight v-neck it's not like a choky type one it's just it's really lovely but i will tell you that if you buy it you will probably never ever ever want to take it off so there's that so i said in the first part that i was looking for wild fox t-shirts one of the women i watched she did a haul and she showed about she's an american that didn't showed a wild fox t-shirt so i looked up i've got a little bit of dust or something in my eye sorry my goodness um all this stuff has been sitting for quite a while because it's like just been mounting up and accumulating so there's probably like dust i've obviously not like went in and dusted it so there's little bits of dust flying off and i think one of the bits of dust that have gone in my eye anyway Wild Fox t-shirt. I paid quite a lot for this, but turns out Wild Fox t-shirts are pretty, pretty pricey. This, it says here, Wild Fox, size small. It's in this creamy kind of colour. They all look, I've noticed like all the Wild Fox t-shirts are a bit distressed. They kind of look like a t-shirt, like your favourite t-shirt, like a t-shirt you've had for years and they're all kind of a bit beaten up and you know what I mean? They're like, when I showed Mark that, he was like, Dan, it looks like rats have been nibbling on it. There's like little nibble marks out of it. But it's meant to look like that. It's all distressed, all ripped up round the neck. And then the front of it says, let me see, love potion number nine. And I just really like that. I got this in a size small. I got some another one that's a wild fox one. It's like a vest thing in a size small. And it is gigantic. So the sizing is a bit weird. I think in, I think it's a bit oversized kind of thing. But this one fits slightly baggy and it's a small but the other one is just gigantic but i'm still going to wait it's like baggy anyway there's that and it's nice and soft the material is really really nice you can tell it's like it's just a nice material it's nice and soft so there's that next thing i got like i said i was getting all sort of set for autumn winter green and burgundy were my colors so i looked up cardigans i thought cardigans are a handy thing to have i got this in the size large and it fits perfectly so if I show you it like this it's that it's like a very very thin sweatshirt material and then in the bottom it's ribbed and then I really like the details on this this I'm sure came from China as well like not directly from China but like you know it's originally from China like made in China I don't know how to show you like so it's got these brass buttons all the way down the front of it it's just a really a really nice looking cardigan and it's really long you could definitely wear this with I'm not doing it, but I don't have long enough arms. It's just really nice. You could definitely wear it with leggings. I got a couple of t-shirts, so like this, under this, a pair of leggings and a pair of boots, and it would just look really, really cool, and you get a nice outfit. You could even wear this in the summer over something because it's really light. I saw this on the model, and this, so this like came from a shop. This wasn't second hand. This one was second hand, like this belonged to somebody, but the furry one and this one were like from a shop. 
and I saw this in the model and I'm like, oh, that really does look nice. What are the chances that it's going to actually look that nice on or look that well made or whatever on? It actually is nicer in person than it looked in on the site. So I'm really impressed with that because, I mean, it was cheap. I'm pretty sure it was very cheap actually. And it's the colour that I was looking for and it's just nice. And this material is really, really soft. I don't know how they can make stuff. I've got another couple of cardigans. In fact, I'll just show you them now because we're talking about cardigans and I'll just show you them quickly. There's also a black one in here somewhere and I don't know where it is. Basically, I bought this colour, so a typed in burgundy cardigan. Come up with this. It says Brezza wardrobe collection. I'm sure this is probably made in China as well. It says the perfect choice. This is from a shop. I'm not joking you. Like that green one is nowhere near as soft as this. So this is a cardigan, open open front cardigan like this. I think they called this a boyfriend cardigan that's what it was called and it's got like the droopy pockets at the front I am not kidding you this is the soft you know that material I was talking about like bouncy material it's super stretchy it's bouncy and it is the softest material and I'm sure this was like 4.99 or something then I discovered I could get it even cheaper and I got one for about I think it was about 4.20 and I bought a black one as well I just I really I love it. I think everybody is going to be getting one of these in their little Christmas parcels. I think, because I think my mum and I don't think anybody wouldn't like these. They come in so many different colours and they just literally sit straight down. They don't fasten. There's just, there's nothing not to like, you know what I mean? And the material is just so soft. It'll be so nice in the autumn winter, like underneath your jackets and stuff. And it's just, it's lovely. Again, we're like one a plain t-shirt and a pair of boots and oh my goodness, my burgundy boots with that. It is, you would need to get it to feel it. I think I searched cardigans, but I did I search cardigans or soft cardigans? I can't remember. I think that I searched cardigans, but I'm sure it was under as a boyfriend cardigan. And again, really, really recommend this. It was like 4 99 and free postage, so it was really, really cheap. And I could not be more impressed with it. I absolutely love it. And I got this colour. This colour is called, that one's called Burgundy. I said I've got black. It's in there somewhere. I won't bother showing you that when I come to it, because it's basically just this in black. And then this one, so there's a lot of different sellers sell them. So just like shop about and see, because like I said, I paid 4 99 for the first one and then realised I could get this one for, I think it was like 4 20 free postage, so even cheaper. It's just, it's a good deal. I would definitely recommend them. So search boyfriend cardigans and for a fiver, I mean, it's just, honestly, it's so soft. Really, I'm just going to be so cosy and soft this autumn winter. It feels like winter now. It's got really cold really, really quickly. Like it was, it felt like just a couple of weeks ago you weren't even bothering wearing your jacket. Now, I actually wore a hat to pick Alexander up from school. That's how cold it was. I get really bad earache with the wind, but it was just, it's so cold. <sighs> and where we live, we get hit really, really badly with the wind. I have no front fence, so I have a fence all the way around my house, and I have no front fence at the front because the wind's picked up. It's like gale force winds, and my fence, the whole fence collapsed forward and was lying on the like pathway anyway so I have no fence at the front just now and it is in the midst of getting repaired these are from M&S &S. so this is like not a company not a shop this is like a person selling these but they're brand new because they've still got the tags on them it says mid dry straight and they're from M&S and they are a size 12 I'm finding that a lot of my jeans I've got are like tight fitting and my back at this side of my back is in spasm so it comes out a little bit more than this side of my back and I'm finding like my jeans my skinny fit jeans they're very very tight at the waist and they seem to be like pushing on the like so the spasms there and like the jeans are like pushing on the spasm and it's not comfortable and when I'm moving and bending and whatever it's just it's not comfortable so I got a couple of pairs and I think most of my skinny jeans are a size 10 and I think I'm now probably with all the issues going on, I'm probably a size 12, so I bought a few things, a couple of different trousers in a size 12, and I thought these would be nice as a change from, you know, just for a change from jeans. They're like skinny, oh my, not skinny, they're not skinny, they're like baggy straight legged, sorry, and they're silky down the side, they've got this line, and they're just different, and they're like a bottle green colour, stretchy waistband, they kind of look like tracksuit bottoms but they don't fit like tracksuit bottoms like you could wear them with a dressy or shoe if I, show you, I don't know what this material is but it's not tracksuit bottom material and it, they drape nice like they sit i've tried these on and they just sit really nice on and they're just like loose and flowy you could wear them with something really you know like a flat shirt or you could even wear them with a little black or burgundy shoes i was showing you but 
there's them and I got them just for a wee change from jeans talking about jeans I bought jeans these I got somebody was selling these and it's they've still got the price tag on it they're original they're slim boyfriend from Dorothy Perkins and they've still got the price tag on them for 28 pounds I'm pretty sure I paid seven pounds for them and they're just a boyfriend jean they're looser I've never really I don't think I've ever really worn a boyfriend jean and normally I've always worn skinny jeans but I really like these they've got the little turn up there I really like this little turn up they're so they're not like a skinny jean but they are a straight leg I do like the slim leg boyfriend jeans I don't like ones that are too baggy so there's those I don't know if there's is it, yeah a little bit of distress on them but not too much just like little bit scuffed up here and that is that thread yeah thread from I don't know what that's from oh my cardigan I think anyway they're just they're brand new and they were a good deal because they've got their price tag on them for 28 pounds so there's that and I've tried those ones on and they fit really really well quickly show you another pair of jeans I got. These I have not tried on because I have not washed these yet. I think this is one of the only things that I got second hand that I've not washed. Everything else I've washed. These don't have the turn up in them but obviously you can just put the turn up in them which I very much intend on doing and wearing them in my little booty type things. They're again, these are from F&F &F and they're in really really good condition. This is obviously just distressing. I think that would hit you about your knee. A little bit of distressing there and they are, they're not like a really really thick denim that's like you know what I mean really harsh it, like they, they're bendy a lot of my denim's like stiff stiff denim and I'm not loving that right now and they're they've got a bit of a stretchy waist which I like and they're 12 so a bit bigger than my other denims I think these will look much nicer when they've got a little turn up in them but I haven't tried these on because I haven't washed them yet I will throw them over there so that I know to so they don't go back in this pile and I remember to take them put them in the washing so Oh my goodness, I'm talking 100 miles an hour. In between, I stopped for two seconds when I did the first part and I stopped to do the other part. And Mark's like, you talk 100 miles an hour. Just like, slow down. For goodness sake, slow down. So I should take a breath and I need to remember that. I think it's a mixture of nerves and honestly, if we were talking in real life, like if you were sitting in front of me, I talk 100 miles an hour. I just, although I'm nervous, I do talk really fast. I'm a really fast talker. I think, I don't know what it is. I think I kind of feel boring. And I'm like, I need to hurry up and get everything out that I want to say before you get bored with me. Does that make sense? I think I think it actually comes from insecurity, if you know what I mean. I just always thought, felt like when I was growing up, no dude would really be interested in listening to me. And so I talk really fast to like get it out before you get bored with me. Anyway, isn't it silly like the things that you think in your head and stuff? Anyway, this this was from a shop, not second hand. I just really like the pattern on it. I thought it was more like this colour of green. It looked it on the thing, but it's this colour green and I actually really like it. It says on it, wait and I'll show you. It's a cat just lying out, slouching out and it says not today. And it's just a loose fitting, you know, like nice cardigan. It's cardigan, oh my goodness. Loose fitting t-shirt and it's got a kind of sheen to it. I don't know, I really like it. I really like jeans, a baggy kind of t-shirt. I don't like fitted t-shirts. Jeans, a baggy t-shirt and like a really nice cardigan over it and a wee pair of boots and a nice handbag that's what I really love that really really love that as a look so that's kind of what I've gone for when I was like you know putting this together putting this together you know like getting stuff for my wardrobe that I was liking I thought what is it actually like like when I'm reaching for something what am I actually reaching for and I find that most of the time it's like a baggy or t-shirt there's a look can you see that there is a little moth in here I don't know if you saw it in the camera but because I've got the ring light the camera is in the middle of the ring light and there's a little moth in here and it just keeps flickering around this so I don't if you see something that's what it is it's a little moth attracted to the ring light anyway it must think because they normally go for like you know the little lights or the lamps it must think it's like died and gone to heaven with that because it's like glaring and you know they love the light anyway <sighs> that I like it Mark will put the price here so I got another one and this is eyelashes eyes like shut eyes I, I don't know why I like this but I do right so this looks like I think this was a unisex t-shirt that it does look a bit feminine because the eyelashes look a bit feminine but it's got eyelashes on it it's black do you know the difference it makes when you just it's amazing the difference it makes when you just turn up the sleeves it just looks like a different jumper like here it just looks like a guy's jumper but with a little turn up I don't know it just makes it look trendy so what I'm going to do is on any of the t-shirts I've got that are like this that are like sort of oversized I'm actually going to 
that is a project for a night. Get all my t-shirts out there, like guys t-shirts or big baggy t-shirts and just roll them up the way I want them and then just put a couple of wee stitches in either side just to hold them up like that because I do like it when they sit like that and when I try and do it myself they just end up coming out. Anyway, big oversized, what size is this? I think I might have got a medium or was it a large? What size? Oh medium. So I think this is a unisize t-shirt but it looks really big when I'm holding it up but it's actually not that big on and it's just black and again I can wear it with any of my cardigans and stuff. Oh, my foot is quite dead. I'm sitting on my foot and I've got a numb foot. You'll see, oh, you nearly saw my socks there. I'm sitting with fluffy socks on. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was sitting with my legs crossed and like my feet underneath me and I've got my legs gone dead. Right, another t-shirt. Oh, this is cute. I really like this. It's very itchy nose. That's Dora shaking. Hello, Dora. Um, this again was from a shop, so new. And it's just a cat. But the thing I like about this t-shirt is it's got nothing on the back. It's just plain white. And you can see it's a little bit transparent. Like it's not a thick t-shirt. It's not like the black one where it's really thick. And again, it's got that kind of sheen to it. Similar to the green sort of sheen off of it. I like the cat. I love black cats. I have a black cat. And I just, I love black cats. But I love the fact that the cat's just like peeking in from the corner. You know, like peeking in. It's not, you know, you'd normally expect it to be on the front. I love it. It's just peeking in from the side. I just really, really like that. And sitting at this window, my cat will do that. So it'll come up the side and it'll just peek in like, are you gonna let me in? Excuse me. And it peeks its wee head in like that. So it reminded me of my cat. So I had to get that, really liked it. Oh my goodness. This, somebody was selling this as a buy it now for three pounds. I wasn't sure why it was so cheap. It doesn't even look like it's been worn. I've actually washed this. This is a size 12, it's from New Look. And it's a velvet, but not the kind of velvet that's, you know, like, it's not awful, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm just getting used to velvet, or, I don't know, or it's not, I used to hate it, like it would make me swimmy, or this is just like not the kind of velvet that makes me swimmy, because it doesn't, how rich does that look? I'm, oh, I think it is coming off on camera. It's just so lovely, it like picks up the light, it's burgundy, it's dressy, it does so scoop down quite low, it needs another button here. Dora, Dora, you make making all the noise. You can't, she can't get into me because I'm literally surrounded by stuff. Come on round in, come on then, come on then. Anyway, dressy, I thought it would be nice to have, she's, just, right, come on then, come on then, come on, for goodness sake. Nope, she's decided not to bother. She literally climbed over all that stuff, went under the chair, round here. This she's going to come up and then went, no, no, I don't think I will. Anyway, it's a nice dress. You could wear it with a pair of knee-high boots and make it casual, or it's just nice to have my wardrobe. I don't really have a lot of dressy things, and I thought for £3, that was pretty good, and it's in really good condition. It doesn't even look like, sorry, it's the dust. It's making me itchy. It doesn't even look like it's been worn. This I got pretty boring, this is from a shop, but just a sort of basic jumper. I, th I like the shape of it. I got this in a size large and it's this jumper, but the bottom, see how it's weird? So it's like, as if it's got, just completely blocking out my face, as if it's got like a triangle taken out at the bottom, so it goes to two points at the side. And I just really like that and it's ribbed and it's thin and I don't know, I just like the shape of it and it fits really well. It's just a black jumper, so there's that. Doda. You have to behave. She does not like it when the kitchen door shut and the tumble dryer was on, so I had the kitchen door shut. And she doesn't like it because she's scared that the cat is in there getting fed and she's not getting fed and she's so greedy that that's why she's bothered. Dora, come here. The cat's not getting food. I don't even think the cat's in. Come here. So these, I got vans. These are so nice. These again were from a shop and I have the price put here, but I think it was about £36 or £36.99. Dora. Come here, she's now scratching the door. Dora, come here. She's not getting fed. He's not getting fed. Come here. Come on, come on. Come on up and say hello to everybody. Come on then. Come on. There we go. There we go. Will I move this silly box? Will I move the box? You shall will. Um, yeah, I got vans. I'm just going to show you one because I've now had to put the box down. These are brand new, so they were from a shop, and a lot cheaper than you would get them, like a shop on eBay, but a lot cheaper than you would get them online. And they're the patent leather with the white soles. I really like them. These were five and a half, and Davina, my daughter, she wears vans all the time. Usually the, she wears like the material ones, and she's got several pairs. 
and asked her, do they run true to size? I don't think I've ever had fans before, I'm not sure. Anyway, she said they ran true to size, so I got a five and a half, and they're in the colour burgundy, and it was perfect. And they literally had one pair, so I was like, it's meant to be, I'm meant to get them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going to help me? So, oh my goodness. So, oh, sorry. There is a stuff. She's just going to make it so awkward. Are you going down? Okay. She's probably going to go and scratch at the kitchen door again. I got a leather jacket. So there's another jacket I've got in here. Wait a minute, because there's a story. So I bought this leather jacket. This is from, I bought this from a woman. This is from Topshop and it was a size 12. And she was selling it, leather jacket, and about three different places in her description, she said, genuine leather jacket, real leather jacket. So I was like, that's what I really want. I had a jacket, it was a burgundy color, it was from H&M, but it wasn't real leather, and eventually it cracked. And I really, really loved it. And when I put it on the other day, I realized that it had a crack at the back and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to bin it. So that, what, that's what made me go and look for a leather jacket. Got this, and I'm like, that doesn't smell like leather. It just really doesn't, oh my goodness. This is actually peeling already. Look, there's a little bit here where it's peeling. I don't believe this. The woman told me that the jacket was new. It's not new, I had a tissue in the pocket. And you can see the inside of it is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it from there, but it's bobbly. So basically, I'm not like a person that complains, but I did message her and say, it's not leather. It says in the thing, artificial leather, right on the top of the label. I messaged her and I said, I didn't say anything but it not being new, because I don't mind something that's second hand, but I said, like, it's not leather. I wouldn't have spent that much money if I knew it wasn't leather. And she said, oh, I'm really sorry, I thought it was leather. But I've just realised, as I lifted it up, it's actually peeling. So the reason I wanted a real leather one is because I didn't want it to do the same thing and like crack and peel like my other one eventually did. And this one's cracking already, which it shouldn't be because she did sell it as new. But I don't know if I'll be able to fix that. Oh, I really hate complaining because I always think, oh, maybe they didn't notice or... Anyway, I always feel bad, but I think I've gone... Dora, come here, come here, come on. Stop your caddy on. I don't even think the cat's in, but she's panicking in case he's getting fed. Anyway, so there's that. I really like the shape of it. Give me one second and I will let her in the kitchen so we can get peace. Hello, so I've let her in the kitchen and she's probably going to walk in and walk back out again just to satisfy her that she knows the cat's not getting fed without her. Yeah, I really like this, but now I'm gutted because I didn't even notice that when I looked at it. I just noticed that it didn't smell like real leather and I was a bit, oh, I'm so gutted. I think I paid like £15 for this, plus the postage, which I would not, and I thought I was getting a really good bargain because I thought it was a jacket from Topshop that was leather, but it's appealing <sighs> jacket. Anyway, I'll see if I can fix that and I might still wear it because like I said, I do like it. Anyway, when I got that, I realised that it wasn't leather. I went on looking for a leather jacket. And when I did tell the lady that it wasn't leather, she just said she was really sorry. I realised, oh, doing that knee thing, <laughs> weird knee in the shot thing. It's kind of cleaned over the big bundle of clothes. Anyway, I bought this. It is by Laura Clement. It says, oh, something in French. You know I'm really bad at that. Uh, la, oh, I'm just going to show you it because I don't want to offend anybody by saying it wrong but the brand here says Laura Clement it's a grey leather jacket it's really nice it's like a sort of biker style it's got you know one of those granddad colours is that what you call it so it's leather it's grey Mark said that he does not like grey leather after I already bought this but when I tried it on he said it actually looked really nice on it's really well made I've never heard of the brand but it's really well made and I really liked it and it seems in good condition and it's real leather. In fact, I'm sure it said in the label it is sheep's leather, lamb's leather. So there's that and it was second hand and I like it. And it'll make up for the fact that this, oh, I'm so annoyed at that. I wouldn't be so annoyed if it wasn't peeling because if I can't fix that, it's going to be useless. I wonder if I can maybe like glue it down or something. Very frustrating. I don't do that. Like if I'm selling stuff on eBay, I always make sure it's in really good condition. Well, as best I can, and I'll check it over. And if there's, in fact, I, don't, I was going to say if there was anything, I put it in the description. But I don't normally. If it was, if it had something on it, I'd probably send it to, you know, like the car boot sale or something, and just charge like fifty pence for it, and tell them like, oh, there's a wee mark on that, and just charge like hard length for it. But I wouldn't put something on eBay that did that, and I certainly wouldn't sell something as leather if it wasn't. Maybe she made a mistake, but 
she was telling lies when she said it wasn't second hand because it's bobbly, it had a dirty tissue in the pocket and it was definitely not a moaning but I don't mean to moan but I'm just annoyed because you know when you get something you're excited about wearing it and it's not what you thought. Anyway, this, I love this. This had a tag on it, I have already worn this. I got this in a size large. This is gorgeous. I'm not going to be able to do this justice by showing you it here. I'm going to do my best. So it's got a hood on it, it's burgundy. It sort of looks like, if I show you it up close, it sort of looks like it would be jaggy, like it's that material. It's not it's really, 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 really soft. In order to get this, I literally typed in soft cardigan and up came soft cozy cardigan and this came up. They had lots of different colours, but when I saw they had burgundy, I'm like, I'll get the burgundy. I'm obsessed with burgundy. It's open at the front, so it's nice and flowy at the front. And then it's got pockets on the side. Really awful job of showing you that. What other detail does it have? I think that's it. I think that's pretty much the, the extent of it. It's got a little thing here, but the label, the like, label tag thing that it said, it said £29.99. So I don't know if somewhere or some shop they were selling it for £30, but that is not what I paid for it, believe me. Mark will put the price up on the screen, but it was much cheaper than that. But it's just so nice on it. It feels nice. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. I just, I really like it. So I wore that the other day. I was just in and out of the car, so I wore it instead of a jacket. That is, I'm not going to go into great detail. I don't know if it was this first part or the second part. The first part? The first part of this video or this part I showed you. But it's one of the cardigans, the really, really soft one that I was telling you about that I got for like £4 odds. And this is the black one. And it's just... Every time I touch it, I can't believe. I just don't understand how they can make stuff so cheap, so soft. You would expect that if you were paying a lot of money for it, but it's just so soft. I love it. And this, this is another, probably a China brand. This one is not as soft. It's not like that super soft material. It's more like a, it's like a cross between a sweatshirt and a knit. It's a strange material. Possibly polyester. I got it in a size large and it seems to prick fit pretty well. I just like the design on it. It's got like a rainbow design over the front and I like the fact that it continued onto the sleeves like that and again it was from a shop. It was pretty cheap. The only thing is, is can you see that like it seems to stick to itself like that. Definitely need to iron it inside out. It's one of those ones that would stick to the iron but I just thought it was bright. It's got the burgundy in it down the bottom so it's got that colour that I like so it mix with all my stuff but it was just a bit different like a pop a colour and brighten up for, you know, like autumn, winter. So there's that. This I just saw and really, really liked. I'm sure they had different colours. I think they had yellow in this colour. This is more for summer. It's a lot, a lot, lot, lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. It, on the thing, can you see that? It's like really thin. You can almost see through it. I thought it was thicker than it was, but I still like it. Again, big cardigan, no buttons or anything on it. Big sort of drippy pocket. Drippy pockets, no. Drippy pockets at the front. It's just like a slouchy, but it's funny. Can you see that? It's like super funny. And I don't know what it is. I just, I love the way it moves. Like the fur kind of moves as your, it sort of jiggles as you're moving. I just, I really like it. I really like weird stuff. So it's a fuzzy. I'm trying to see if there's fluff coming off it. It's not too bad, actually. I thought touching my back black leggings because it's not been washed, like it would just molt molt all over it but it's not I just really like it and I like the way it moves and it's got a sheen to it and I think this will be perfect because it's thin for the summer just to chuck on my denim shorts and a t-shirt Dora what are you doing? what are you doing? You know, see if I wasn't filming she would just be cuddled up having a wee sleep I think it's the fact that I'm talking and she's thinking well why are you not talking to me why am I not getting attention she's such a spoiled little thing someday it was selling this it's originally from New Look this was really really cheap and so I just bought it. It's like thin knit, like quite thin, not too too thin. Like can you see that? So you can see my hand through it. So you definitely need to wear a wee cami or vest top or something under it. And it's longer in the back than it is at the front. And it's just nice to shove on a pair of boyfriend jeans and my little burgundy booties. And it's just, it's nothing really fancy, just a woolly jumper. <sighs> Take a breath. I think we nail at the end. All right, okay. So here is the other one, the boots that I showed in the first part, the Faith Green Cowboy Boots. I bought a bag to go with it. These are a pretty good match considering I bought them at two separate times. They're not bad. Like if you put them together, you can tell they're not identical, but they're the same kind of tone. So like when that's on your feet and that's up here and something's in between it, you know, like you've got a black thing or burgundy thing or whatever in between it, they're going to match in pretty well. So I just, I really like them. How 
different is that? Just like green boots, green bag. You don't see that every day. I actually really like it. It's different. I've never, I don't think I've ever owned a green handbag like this and green boots. And I just think they look really, really cool together. And this here has got like braiding detail. These are from separate buyers at completely separate times. But this here's got braiding detail. And then this is also got braiding detail. So like on the little pull tie things, it's little braiding detail. So it kind of looks like it's a set, but it's not. Anyway, this is by the brand Sasha Sasha B. And it is genuine leather. It's got a little tag on it. This is brand new with tags. And it's just a green leather handbag. It's got the this one. I mean, it's nice enough. It's still a lovely little handbag. It's going to look a lot better because it's kind of been flattened by being in there. But it's going to look a lot better when it's filled, you know, when it's not so, so you know, flat and folded up. And when the strap is nearer my size, you can extend it so it'll be like a crossbody. That's how I would wear it. It's got a little pocket in the front. This is not as well made as that as the other two bags I showed you, but it's still a really cute wee bag. Little pouch in the front, zip pocket in the back. I do like a zip pocket in the back for my phone and it goes perfectly with my boots so there's that oh my goodness what have we got left i think we are nearly at the end what is this i don't remember this one. Oh, this actually <laughs> this wasn't meant to be in here this my best friend ian got me he was at the what's it called comic-con the comic-con thing and they had a stall that was selling this and my favorite i don't know if you recognize that so <sighs> I just, I love it. It's from the film Karate Kid and Karate Kid is my favourite film in the whole wide world. So when he saw this, he said he just had to get it for me and I love it. I think this is my favourite t-shirt in the whole wide world. I love it. I've not worn it yet, but I fear that when I start wearing it, I'm probably not going to take it off. Between that and the cardigans that are just, and the jumpers that are super soft, I'm just going to be, I'll be wearing the same things. Fluffy. I used to have a fluffy cardigan, you might remember it from another haul that Mark got me. It was a white fluffy cardigan and it accidentally got put in the wash with a dark load. I don't know how it happened, but it came out grey and I could never get it back to being that. So I looked up pink, uh, white fluffy cardigan and up popped this white jumper and I love it. It's really long. It's again thin, which I kind of like because... You'd be wearing this under a jacket and you don't want it like too thick and too bulky. So I like the fact that it's thin. It's so thin that you would need to wear a wee vest up. So that's like two layers, a wee vest up that and then your jacket. So it's just, I love it. And I think, yeah, in fact, I'm pretty positive it would be long enough to wear with leggings because the back comes down longer so it would like cover your bum. I just, I really like it. It's very, very soft. Everything that I've got is just so super cosy. So I told you I was on the hunt for Wild Fox stuff. I also told you that I got them in a small and this is huge. I'm sure this is, yeah, small. So Wild Fox small, look at this. This is one of the, like I said, it like distressed, sort of beat up things. If you don't know Wild Fox, like everything seems to have that sort of distressed kind of look to it. Look at the size of this. This is a small. If I hold that up to my body, like it's bigger than my shoulders and that's the bit that's meant to go there. Look, it is huge, but I think it says, I want candy and then it's got a picture of what looks like a cake thing. It's very, very sheer, but I still really like it and I tried it on and I love it. It's just like that. It actually sits okay on because the material just kind of drapes down. It's not like it drapes like that and you've, I think you would need to wear like a nice wee, nice bra or one of those bandeau tops under it or maybe even like just a wee white cami under it and then this over it because it's pretty pretty you know baggy I think yeah you'd be showing a bit of side boob is what I'm trying to say there see it sort of droops down low but it's super comfortable and I really really liked it another thing I got on wild fox is this this is extra small and again tried it on and it fits really really nicely i think i might have to cut this label out because it's made of i don't know why they would do this so this material is so super soft and then the, the material can you hear this it's so it's like glittery gold that's going to jag me i know it is yeah this is the one with the burgundy fur pony shoes you know the pony hair shoes that i showed you the big heavy ones same girl that was selling this and she said she never wore it, she bought it, and she never wore it. I've washed this. I'm not joking when I tell you. This is the stretchiest material ever. Like, look. It's just, 
it's so stretchy, bouncy, super stretchy. It's just, it seemed, I think it would just go on forever. And it's like this tuxedo thing, kind, kind of thing, like bow tie sort of suit thing. It's just, it's so cool. And it's just the weirdest material. It's very, very sheer, long enough to wear with leggings because it's got the long back. And on the back, it's got some distressing, but you're not going to really show anything. I think your shoulder blade would be showing in that. That's about all. Mark would probably say that looks like it's been nibbled by rats, but yeah, I really, really like it. It's so cute, and I thought it'd be cute with leggings in the house. And I think, hold on, wait till I check. Oh, I had everything sitting in that. Yes, we are done. I think I have showed you everything. I'm still waiting on a couple of things to come from eBay. I've ordered a couple of things for Alexander, and I think there's a couple of things for myself to come. So I will, what am I trying to say? Yes, I will. Put that in with the charity shop haul because that will probably be my next video. So I will see you guys really, really soon. And thank you so much for watching. And if you stuck through all of part one and part two, I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you so soon. Bye. <laughs>